Hello, my name is Hellbent, and welcome to the edit tutorial for Auto Hotkey GUI. We're up to the seventh or eighth, I lost track, uh, mini little mini tutorial that we're going to be covering all the things that you can do with the edit box and GUI. Okay, so in this one, we are going to be looking at um, adding, being able to use the tab key in your edit box. Now. If you're familiar with uh, forms or things like that, usually if you press the tab key, all you end up doing is jump from one control to the next control. What we, we're going to do is we're going to make it so that way the tab key works like a normal key. So it's either it's seven it's some it's either between seven and nine spaces so by pressing the tab character so I'm gonna do it right now so I press the tab character and you see how it jumps over X amount of spaces it's somewhere between seven and nine I don't remember exactly it doesn't matter it just jumps a predetermined amount of spaces okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that way we can do that inside of the edit control so the first thing I'm going to do is set up my script or program with all my defaults. And I do all of these default things that I, I'm doing now, I, I've covered in past tutorials. Not necessarily the edit tutorial, but ones before that. So if you don't know uh, any of this stuff, just go back and watch some of the older stuff. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to add in my GUI template, which is GUI show. My width, I'm going to do 500, height of 500. So I'm just creating the dimensions of my GUI. And now I'm going to add in a title. So I've been calling this edit tut. And now we'll add in a return. Next, I'm going to make it so that way the GUI close, the, the whole program closes when I close the GUI. So I need a label, GUI close. And this is going to exit the app. I'm going to keep my GUI on top. Okay, for this one we're going to need two things because we need to demonstrate how it normally uh, will jump between edits. So we're going to add in two things. We're going to add in a, the, the edit, add edit, and we're also going to add in a button. Okay, so there we go. I think everything's good. I can get rid of some of this space. I usually like adding a little bit of space in between different things on my GUI just because it makes it easier to read when it gets really big. But anyways, this is good for now. So I've saved and we're going to run. Okay, so now we have a edit field where I can add stuff in and I have a button. Um, let me add some text. Uh, okay, I need one more comma in there. Okay, there we go. So we got a button and we have our edit. Now, normally, if I was to press the tab key, it's going to jump from the edit to the next control, which in this case is the button. So if I press tab, it jumps to the button. And likewise, if I keep pressing tab, it just jumps between them. Now, there can be... I don't know why you want to use this, but there could be a reason where you actually want to be able to do the normal operation of a tab inside of your edit. So that's like, you know, seven spaces or between somewhere between seven and nine spaces. I don't remember. Like I said, I don't remember exactly how much it is. It's seven to nine. It's something like that. So let's say when I press the tab key in here, I actually just want to add space. So, the way we do that is in our edits option, we are going to type want tab. Okay, 
save and play. And now if I press tab, it actually adds the space. Okay, instead of jumping to the next control. And that is it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I will see you on the next one where we're going to be doing basically the same thing except the return. So um, instead of being the tab, we're going to have it make it so that way when you press enter, something happens. Okay, and I'll see you on the next one.